Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the MSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It has been approved for all persons ages 10 and over. This video is brought to you in part by The Night Sheriff by Phil Foglio. Bartholomew Xenon Xenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he's burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything. The guests, the staff, and the supernaturals who take refuge in the park. The Night Sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but the secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. And even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and the start of a brand new zoo project. This is a tropical franchise. Set in Costa Rica. We've got a nice flat area here. Everything's cool. Uh, looks beautiful. As I said, this is going to be a franchise zoo, which means we start off with limited resources. As you can see, we started off with 40000 and I've already spent some of it changing the path. Um, in Franchise Zoo, you have to be careful. you got to marshal your resources. you got to keep track of all expenses. you got to you know, train your, your workers. It's a lot more background work than just building um, habitats, and I do plan on doing pretty much all of it on screen. So you guys are going to see it as I do this. Anyway... Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, it's a tropical zoo. And by that I mean every single animal that I'm including is from the tropical biome. I've got, you know, it's the jungle animals and I've got them from South America, I've got them from uh, Central America, Asia, and Africa. Um, I don't really think I have any tropical creatures from Australia and North America is not really known for its tropical, uh, I mean yeah, Central America, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I've selected 27 different habitat animals plus a bunch of exhibit animals. It's going to be fun, and I hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. Now, uh, given that this is franchise, I'm not going to be able to just build things willy-nilly like I did in uh, the, the Sandbox Zoo, which, you know, the Rainbow Valley Zoo, for example, was a sandbox. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do like I did there where I just, oh, I want to build something, fine, I'll build it because I might not be able to afford it. What I will do, however, is I will come along behind after I've built up some money and I will uh, uh, fix things, make them more fancy, build up some, uh, uh, some more stuff. And I know that's a very technical term, stuff. But I'll give you an idea. The first thing that we're building... Uh, in this episode, and we will be getting to it in a minute, is a, a, a habitat for the greater flamingo. Now, the greater flamingo is found in Europe, Africa, Asia. It's an invasive species in the Americas and in Australia. I mean, it's basically found all around the world. And uh, because it's found all around the world, I'm not going to put it in a special section. I'm kind of doing, the, the theme of the zoo is, it's like, you know, I haven't decided exactly where, but it's like, okay, we've got the entry plaza here, and it's going to have the flamingos, and then say over here we'll have the African, uh, uh, the, the the African jungle animals, and down here we'll have the Asians, and over here we'll have the the Central and South Americans, you know, or however it ends up working out. But first, we're going to do the flamingos, and the flamingos are going in right here. So uh, anyway, guys, yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn this over to the speed build, and I will talk to you in a minute, and when we come back, we will talk about what I built, we'll talk about what I plan on doing to improve it, and we will talk. We will definitely talk about what the plans are going forward from here. So I'll be back in a bit. Enjoy the speed build, guys.
Okay, so here we have uh, the the beta version, if you will, of our initial habitat, the uh, Greater Flamingo. I call it the, the beta version because I will be improving on it later on. Um, you'll have to excuse that last bit. I thought for some reason there was a problem with the volume. It turned out, it turned out that my headset had turned itself off, so I wasn't hearing any, anything. The microphone was still working, but the headset wasn't, and it was weird. Anyway... Uh, we have a nice healthy population of flamingos. They've got a pretty good pool um, You know, I like this initial look my plan here is to uh, Decorate this place up a little I'm going to put walls around these two buildings here um, You know, I, I will be replacing this chain link fence with something uh, uh, a, a little more pretty you know, something uh, homemade. You know, I'm going to make it from scratch. And, uh, you know, I'm basically, uh, I'm also probably going to add some more plants to this. Because I like the look of it. This is a nice, uh, a nice uh, uh, habitat. I could very easily see it being in a real zoo. And, uh... Do we have a youngster already? Did they, did they uh, actually have babies already? Yes. How about that? In the time it took me to finish the habitat, the flamingos have reproduced. That's a good thing. That means they like their habitat. I'm going to put some more um, lily pads over here. At least that's what we always call them in Florida. We get we, we have these things all over Florida and uh, you know we, we just call them lily pads. And I'm probably going to put in some more trees, especially around the edges of the uh, the rock. Um, my other plan is I want to put uh, shade. Oh look, we're about to get a class. I want to put shades along the the pathway, and of course, eventually we're going to put um, so, some uh, uh, shops, some bathrooms. We'll continue the path around. Um, as I said, there will be three basic sections to this um, to this zoo. Now, it's going to be uh, Central and South America. It's going to be Asia and it's going to be Africa. I have not yet decided on what we're going to do next, but I'm thinking it may well be Africa. Um, African animals are popular. You know, African uh, uh, jungle animals includes like the gorilla. So it would be pretty cool. I do not know yet what the next um, what the next animal is going to be. I'm, you know, I'm sorry I can't just tell you what it is because uh, I'm still deciding which one I want it to be. But um, it's off to a good start. I like this. We are making money. Um, not much, but, you know, we just started. So, uh, ah, and there we go. Um, I'm also going to put a cover on... Uh, on the educate, I'll probably use the very same cover that I used in the uh, uh, Rainbow Valley Zoo. I like that cover; it's a good cover. Um, I'm also going to cover up the donation bins, and you know where I didn't really need the donation bins in the Rainbow Valley Zoo, the last zoo. I do need them in this, so I will be using them extensively. Um, but yeah, I'm going to remove the clanky fence and replace it with something scratch made. And it's going to look pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, oh, that's something I think I can take care of right now. Hold on a second. Yeah, look at the heat. It's 108 degrees out here. Well, what do we want? This is South, uh, Central America. So let's do this. I don't want it freezing, so let's bring it up to, what do you think, 75? Let's take it to 75. Yeah, 
and then I will move this so it's about there. That's kind of central located. Yeah. We'll do it that way. And then I'll expand the air conditioning out um, as we get the chance. It's not like these things are expensive. So anyway, let me go back to the normal view. This is the traversable area for uh, for the birds. This is everywhere they can go. Everywhere that's blue, they can go. Um, it gives them plenty of room, you know, plenty of room to move around, plenty of room to do their little birdie things. Um, let's see. They're all in good shape. People, for the most part, are happy. This is early in the game. They don't have a lot of needs. Um, we have no crime. I do have a single wandering security guard. There he is. And I've got security cameras here and here. Uh, let's see. Education. Right here. Right. I forgot to put signs up. So you know what? I'm going to put signs up. Now I will be building a frame or I might use one of my blueprints. I've built dozens of these things. So I have blueprints for these signs dripping out of my ears almost. Um, you know, I will, I will put up a frame. In fact, I got 24 grand. Let's see what I can afford. Um, I need something jungly that normally says Africa, but not necessarily. I don't want to use anything that's blatantly South American either. So, you know. What do I want? What do I want? What do you think of this, guys? It's not quite jungle, but you know, it's uh, it fits a theme, and it does come with a uh, donation bucket cover. Anything in here? This is too grand. It's going to be expensive. These look all Asian. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to use this. Ooh, and it has its own speaker. Okay. Now, in the future, can you expect to see me build things in real time or, or place things in real time like this? Yes. Yes. That's the neat thing about the, uh, the franchise mode. I will be playing uh, uh, while you watch. I will try and keep up a running commentary. If I forget, I apologize. Um, a lot of times when I'm, whoops, a lot of times when I'm quiet, it's because I'm thinking and I just get into the zone. You know, I get, it's like, oh, hey, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's build something. Let's, let's place it. Let's do this. And I forget that I've got an audience because, you know, I'm having fun playing this game. I really enjoy playing this game, you know. As much as I'd like to to uh, 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 flatter you guys by saying that the only reason I'm playing it is for your entertainment, the truth is I don't play any of the things I play. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to make it sound like I don't care about what you guys think at all because I do. But the honest truth is I'm playing for my entertainment more than I am yours, which 
personally, I think is the right way. Does that have a light on it? Holy shit, it is a light. How about that? Anyway, um, if you're not playing for you, if, if you have a channel and you're playing games and you're doing it more for your audience than you are for your own enjoyment, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. There. Okay. Greater Flamingo. No music. And let's raise this to eight. Not nine, eight. Because we're not going to put a ton of them around, but we are going to put enough of them around. I think I'm going to put another one over here. Yep, one right here. And of course, the purpose of these things, if, you've, if you're if you new to the game, if you're just looking at, the, if you're just checking out my episode to see what it's all about, uh, these boards, these education boards, they gather the interest of the crowd and make them more likely to uh, give you money, to make uh, uh, charitable donations for you. So you want to put them around, but you don't necessarily need them in every square inch of the... Uh, uh, of the zoo. I thought I moved that. Didn't I move that? I thought I moved that. Oh well, you know what? It's okay. Alright, let's bring this down to there. Alright, and then we will grab another one and we'll come over here, way over here, to over here. Yes, I'm being very specific. We're going from here to here. Okay, let's drop it just a little into the dirt. And we'll back it up just a touch. All right. While we're at it, I'm going to put another security lamp right here. Okay, guys. Well, this is about as far as we're going to go with this episode. It is nighttime, obviously. Um, we basically spent about 10 months in game time building this thing and the zoo's doing pretty good it's got 179 people which is not bad for you know a, a starter zoo with one um oh yeah i forgot to, i forgot i need to get rid of these things you know for for a starter zoo with only one habitat 179 people is not bad at all um you know it, it looks good it's a nice centerpiece I have no idea what I'm going to do next, so if you're curious about what I'm going to do next, please stop by and watch the next episode. Now, I, what I, one of the things I am going to be doing is I will be uh, sprucing this thing up in real time as you watch. I'm not going to do anything off camera. It's all going to be on camera. So uh, wish me luck. I hope to enjoy this. I generally think I'm going to because, you know, I love this game. You guys know that. I love this game. Uh, listen to those birds. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the very next episode. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you, even if, you know, even if what you want to tell me is that I'm being silly and this is a stupid game and that I shouldn't waste my time on it. I still enjoy the comments. Believe me, I had a guy once tell me that I was a quote-unquote Walter Mitty for playing all these games. And you know what? Thank you for the comment, dude. You're not completely wrong. So 
yeah, uh, you know, join me next time. I'll have figured out what I want to do next, and uh, we will work to get a, a habitat together. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.